Cause it's about to get real toxic, bro. Today is the first day I ever used a toxic lineup on the twos. Now, if you're confused what a toxic lineup is, a toxic lineup is basically when a player makes or go grabs an archetype that they know is overpowered in the game just to get wins. And that's what I'm doing right now. I have a look, look at the lineup, super overpowered. I have my peer lockdown, my rebirth at the one. And then I went on Twitter and asked, who is the best post score in the game? And this was one of the people they recommended. As you guys can see, my record was kind of old. You feel me? And look, we even still going against toxic lineups. You feel me? They are the perfect example of a toxic lineup because you see their records are bad. But as you guys can see, as they keep losing, they try to go get these builds and lineups that will most likely get them the wins, bro. That's basically the wave of 2K19. If you're confused with a toxic lineup is so like i said though i went on twitter asked for a post score and he gave me truly wolf so i brought truly wolf out here he basically played a 1v1 court he dominates bro and look look at me bro all i gotta do at the one is play defense so how would i ever lose with this lineup let's take a look at what he's doing bro and i specifically i'm specifically making this video for ld2k so that he can actually see what we don't want in 2k20 all right so y'all know the top three archetypes in 2k19 is in no order you got the post score you got the peer lock and then you got the stretch those are the three main builds people make when they are not good at the game now don't get me wrong it's players who do have these builds that are good at the game they started day one but for the people who making them now like to have it as a backup when they lose y'all know that's the thing if people have a some type of guard a dribbler a play sharp a shot sharp whatever the case may be and then when they take a loss they say all right i'm going to get my lockdown that shouldn't be the case. That's how you know something is overpowered when you lose. You gotta be like, all right, I'm gonna go get a lockdown. And the same thing, all the people who have logos in this 2K, they understand that when people pull up, especially on twos, and they know they wanna get a win, they pull up with two lockdowns, two post scores, some some type of form of the three the holy trinity of cheese, bruh. Post score, lock, or stretch. So in today's video, like I said, I'm showing y'all what it's like to see great players actually use these builds and look how easy it is like i'm never going to lose with this lineup it's too overpowered and i'm just getting warmed up you feel me got my lock at the one they actually doing their thing though it's six to two we gotta learn out chemistry first time ever playing look and we in game chat talking look i jumped contested that oh i wanted to get me another block pick up easy nothing they could do look good switch okay they, they doing their thing look they already used to being toxic like when the game comes to the point where you don't have to have no guard no dribbler at huh. all that's toxic bro the fact that a dribbler like you don't need a play sharp none of those guard builds to get wins in this 2k but at what cost is it worth to cheese because just to be honest using this lineup i was ultra bored look easy still and i got takeover now just from getting that easy poke now like i was saying using this lineup yeah you're gonna get wins but is it worth it, bro? Like, this is super boring. I used to enjoy being a lockdown. Lockdown was fun in the old 2Ks, probably to me. Even in 18, I was having fun with the lockdown because they wasn't as overpowered. In 2K18, you needed some sort of skill to actually use a lockdown. It was not the wave. You never seen two lockdowns pull up on a twos court in 2K18. I never seen post score a lock because the lockdown was able to get cooked. You can get your ankles broke. And he didn't have hands up defense in 2K18 where you couldn't get your ankles broke. So lockdowns was easy to destroy. But if you were skilled, you feel me, you was able to use the build for real. So that's how you knew who was really a good lockdown in 18 if they had it in 2K18. You had to really be nice, bro. Because you had blow bys, snatch backs, all type of things to destroy locks. And now in 2K19, for me, it's way more boring. And the reason why it's way more boring this year because you can do everything with the build. Like I said, you can shoot. I can ISO with it. I can get rebounds. Like, it's just, the build does everything, huh. bruh. Consistent greens if you got the right jump on. In this video, I think I only got set shot 13 on. I don't have the right, like, jump shot 24. But there are signature jump shots that activate and make a certain build overpowered when it's not supposed to be. So, LD, what I'm trying to say in conclusion, if you do happen to watch this, 
we want these archetypes oh they go to shot set shot 13 right there example of me bricking bro i need on 24 but anyway we want these build look look at him with look look at that bro look at this post scoring slasher bro look at this bro he's unstoppable we want it to be stoppable that's it we're not saying take it out the game but this type of lineup gotta be more stoppable and uh, and some things to help it would be okay the pure lockdown or all builds with low ball control it gotta be very easy to rip them bro they shouldn't be able to protect the ball with l2 at the one like they shouldn't be able to just hold the ball they shouldn't be able to zigzag and then with post scores they just gotta you just gotta have a system where you reward good defense bro there's low-key still no paint defense in this 2k obviously you're gonna need some type of rim protector but i've seen goat rim protectors get cooked by oh i got a green light in the corner look at that bro look look at this game i got um i seen uh goatee rim protectors get cooked by this type of build like this form of truly wolf like he say he cooked these type of you feel me he cook rim protectors all the time but just look what he doing just look at what we doing on this court bro look at how effortless it is you feel me look at how all up all i gotta do is give him the ball and it's just like he playing a 1v1 court it's too overpowered bro this is the definition of toxic and look all i gotta do is hit my shots when they try to double team bro if i put on jump shot 24 it's a gg so it's, the score is 20 to 12 i'm gonna let my mans in the game unless they try to double team i try to take another shot look fade away dirt nowinski green 12 to 22 bro I'm going to put two more game plays in here. Now that I got my point across the LD, what we don't want in 2K, we're just going to strictly look at the gameplay, and I'm just going to show y'all how dominant I am with this lineup. Like, I'm never losing. But like I said, if you're watching this video, bro, if you're a fan of me, bro, don't ever use this toxic lineup that I'm going. And it's ironic that I'm using toxic lineups, and every lineup y'all see us playing against is toxic as well. It's some form of two centers with a stretch big, like, Every line that we gonna play for the rest of this video is still cheese. Whether the record's good, whether the elite threes, whether the amateurs or not. But I'm gonna show y'all more comp later in the game. But I just want y'all to see the continuation of how dominant this lineup is, bro. I'm never taking a loss on twos. And like I said, it's boring. It's not fun. It's not fun to actually see this, bro. So LD, if you made it this far in the video, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you. You could tell you watch. I just wanted to show you the toxicity of what we dealt with throughout the, this entire year even on threes court there was a thing y'all had where uh they could pull up with three centers and then shoot over your guard like we just want guards to matter in 2k bro that's it and you see me shooting at the top of the key they got the ball i missed the shot guards should matter now when it comes to being toxic and overpowered i'm a guard so i'm not just gonna make it seem like everything that's wrong with the game is just these builds if if a play sharp was super overpowered i would be telling ld to nerf that if we were getting ankle breakers every single play i wouldn't want that in the game it's not a thing of for the people watching the video you can't have that mentality like oh i'm only going to tell ld things that benefit my build like ld we have something on offense as a guard where you can hold l2 if you real good with it you can't get the ball ripped from you you just hold l2 that's another thing that need to be taken out see what i'm saying like i'm going to tell him everything that's messed up not just what benefits my build to make me better because i'm gonna be good regardless y'all know my record i'm gonna be good regardless i'm gonna get dubs regardless however they drop 2k i'm gonna still have one of the best records i'm still gonna cook regardless how they patch it so i would rather have the game be fair you feel me but look let's look at this post score bro look what he doing bro that, obviously that was green but my playstation skipped but you see he made that it's five zip he actually made that shot look i want to analyze if they actually play good defense on him and he's still making it look at me with a lockdown bro late release the shot still dropped there's no way that i'd be playing with certain bills that have shooting in there and he miss when it's not green but i got a lockdown and they can make it i don't know that's crazy bro let's get it though look double team he passed to me animation i shoot it again not green my man's got the board should i pull that now nah, i'm gonna step up for midi because i'm missing too much so i stepped up for midi got a green release i ain't gonna lie the one thing i missed that we had uh when, when it was no patches in 2k you could shoot and the, the animation would let you know if it was green or not like that was hard like you will roll backwards without even having a green light if y'all remember that that was fire but anyway 12 zip look they can score even with me bricking shots I have too much defense so we always gonna get the ball back bro look post them up they pretty much double look what he doing bro 
look what he is doing to them green okay so this is my game right here basically all right so they pretty much going double team him no matter what so y'all get to see this point of view as well of like well i'll just double team the post score so he can't score but what that's going to do what's that going to do when you got a lockdown that can get greens in the corner wide open look warming that jumper up warming that jumper up 18 zip i'm telling you if i had on jump shot 24 this game is a gg but i'm still making it with set shot 13 you can see i'm getting the hang of it i'm getting my meter more to the top but he got takeover if he wanted to he could score whenever he want bro but it's like i'm just warming up my shot since they double team and look green game game one you seen him drop all the buckets game two i dropped 17 with a pure lockdown i am 610 without using jump shot 24 bro drop 17 bro let's get into another gameplay before we end this video this toxic lineup bro now out of everything i described in this video bro let's be honest in the comment section hit the like button if you actually use a toxic lineup bro be honest with yourself bro you use it to i didn't win in game chat against toxic lineup so many times to, and they admitted like i ain't gonna lie it's not my regular bill i'm just using this so i could beat you bro i just want to get a dub you feel me so and hit that like button if you don't use toxic lineup shout out to the people who don't now look at this bro look what's pulling up we got elite elite two elite three two lockdowns one is a slashing defender and one is a pure lock so obviously this is a comp gameplay for y'all but it's against my toxic lineup now think about if i was regularly on the twos with like just me in a stretch something that i would normally play with me and diva or something like that and then we get pulled up on by two locks not saying we gonna automatically lose but it's gonna be a, a way harder process to beat this squad Let, let's see if we can beat two locks bro first off let's get it so look my man's gonna post up now this is a lockdown guard in the post score by the way something that's supposed to be able to counter them okay so i don't know if he made a miss or all right he got jump shot 24 and he green all right man i don't know if he made a miss or wolf just missed i'm gonna just say wolf missed because he really was wide open but let's look at us play defense all right let's go toxic versus toxic oh no you're not he made that over me oh all right so we really got some actual these are comp lockdowns he just shot that over me all right i'm up for the challenge i'm up for the wow i got the poke ball loose and they didn't give it to me great defense by wolf he got the rebound now it's six zip i'ma let wolf work i want to since they're good lockdowns i want to see if they can actually stop him since they good i know he about to get in his bag they trying to bait up he jumped fade away fade away in his face even with the lockdown picking up bro it's six to two we gotta make this comeback let's get right wolf let's get right wolf and if i'm not mistaken i think wolf got a channel so i'm gonna try to find it and put his link in the description if you guys wanna hey if y'all enjoy watching post cheese or hey one of the best post scores in the game i can't lie y'all see what he doing and this is what i could do bro think about that what if i chose to change my channel change from being a dribbler and actually just rant like this would this be boring gameplay or not for y'all but i'm winning every game like y'all ain't gonna want to see that y'all gonna want to see some dribble moves y'all want some type of combos y'all want some form of entertainment entertainment like me just sitting in the corner doing that getting a green or whatever green but it's not green like y'all don't want to see that bro but i could do this to win my record would be like i would go like ten thousand and still only have 100 l's if i play like this for the rest of 2k19 right now it would be a gg so the lockdown actually got a steal but the lockdown missed the mid-range so we get the ball right back you feel me i'm driving i'm driving give it to wolf bro let him work let him work i want to see him oh my gosh post speed boost cheese bro to make it nine to six bro let him work i know it's pretty soon well he got ripped so i don't know if he close to takeover he did get ripped all right he backing him down they double teaming they both reaching what you gonna do post slasher got him with an up and under look all that contact it don't matter he still went up bro 11 to 6 bro the post score in his bag against two cheesers you feel me it's even now you feel me toxic versus top oh my he is killing this lockdown bro toxic versus toxic and look how easy it is for him to get his takeover bro because he a slasher so dunks probably super increase his point he got ripped he got ripped and still end up getting takeover in what like two more possessions now how they gonna stop him okay they got a foul they trying to tick the clock they trying to tick the clock to make his, his make his takeover run out i'm gonna just keep feeding him the ball bro just showing y'all for somebody who want to get like if you ever beat me with this lineup it don't count green it don't count bro if you beat me with a lock post if you beat me with double lock it just don't count
account, bro. Obviously, as you guys can see, it takes no skill. Look, they just reaching now. They just reaching like crazy now. So I, I muted them in the beginning because I didn't want to hear them. I wanted to focus. And now I'm unmuting them just to see their reaction and talk to them like, what's up with this cheese versus cheese? Let me see if I actually got the audio. Toxic world. Let's get it. That's a bully. Oh, my Lord. Uh oh, they got a ball. Thank you. Come on, come on now. Come on now. Let's get toxic, Blakey. Oh, he little. If you make that, bruh, how, bro? All right, so I did have the audio, but I didn't have the audio of the other team. It's just my audio. But as you guys can see, he's still making crazy shot over the locks, bruh. It's 20 to 6, bruh. Obviously, this game is over, bro. There's nothing they could do. I shot that over top of lockdown. I knew I wasn't making that. I'm geeking. Maybe with 24, it's possible, bro. And let me know, bro. I know y'all been asking about jump shots on my other player. Y'all seen me in the little comp games and stuff like that, and I was shooting consistent. I might do one last jump shot for the year and end it off. You feel me? If y'all, you feel me? Get this joint 5,000 likes. But what do y'all think, bro? Is toxic lineups boring to watch or not, nah, bro? If you try and blow up in the next 2K, bro, I ain't trying to force you to make a guard or anything, but... When you form your duo or trio, do a legit entertaining lineup, bro. Don't be toxic like this because I doubt people want to watch this. And I'm going to see from my comment section, people let me know, like, if this was enjoyable, if this was boring. And look how overpowered we is, bro. I showed y'all toxic lineups versus toxic lineups. And I can't lose because I'm too overpowered at the pure lockdown, bro. I could easily get easy dubs. I could pull up on people with this lineup but it's just not fun bro and it takes no skill so hopefully something gets balanced in 2k20 so we don't have to deal with this for the rest of the year but i hope you guys enjoyed this video it's your boy the monster what's good yeah. hit up sportstmb.com if you're looking for nba 2k stacked accounts the link will be in the description and when you guys make your purchase just say that la monster sent you in the notes